In this video, we will learn how to create new business services and business operations in a production that uses a TCP connection to receive and transmit data. To create these components, click the plus icon next to each of them. We will start by adding a new business operation to our production, because the business operation can be tested by itself. That way, if there are any errors when we add additional components, it will be clearer where the error resides. Start by clicking the plus button next to operations. Next, we will select the HL7 output tab. The output type will be TCP, which stands for Transmission Control Protocol, the most common way to transmit HL7 messages. Let's name the operation 2ABC Lab TCP. Feel free to use another name as long as it is clear enough. In the category field, type TCP. Then we need to specify the IP address and port so the operation can talk to the receiving applications. Enable the business operation and click OK. Now that we've created a business operation, the next step is to create a new business service. Choose the plus icon next to services and then click the HL7 input tab. We select TCP as the input type and name the service from registration TCP. We need to specify the port for the business service that equals the port of the upstream system. Enable the business service and click OK. This completes our specification of the business operation and business service. And now we can test the receipt and transmission of an HL7 message. Now you will see in detail how we implement the test process. In our production, we want the data from an input folder to be picked up by the business service HL7 file service and then transmitted to the business operation 2ABC Lab TCP. To talk with this operation, we will create a new business service named from ABC Lab TCP that uses TCP. Finally, we will create a business operation named to output file that sends data to the output folder. To start the test process in our current production, we connect the HL7 file service to the 2ABC Lab TCP. Because only one production can run in a namespace, we will move to another namespace and create a new production that connects from ABC Lab TCP to 2 output file. Here we configure the from ABC Lab TCP to have the same port as the 2 ABC Lab TCP and configure the 2 output file to output to the C slash HL7 slash out directory. During the test process, we can see that InterSystems Iris could sit on either side of the TCP connection, and the other side will be another application. Now let's test our production. We will copy the HL7 data file, data.txt, into the C slash HL7 slash in directory. As you can see, this file has now been transmitted to the C slash HL7 slash out directory, having TCP added to its name. We can also view the visual trace to see the flow of messages within a production. In this video, you have learned how to create and test new business components that work within a production to transmit HL7 messages over a TCP connection. Visit documentation to learn more about how to use TCP connections in productions.